Okay, I hope you got a chance to stretch a little bit. And um, I would love to, I just love this slide, uh, be kind. I feel like if there's nothing else that you hear me say and all you remember is this one slide that you have most of it, you've got the gist of it. Uh, because being kind to yourself, to everyone else, definitely puts you on the right path in terms of integrity. So now I wanna talk a little bit about leadership. In my introduction, I said that what I do is I empower professionals to be highly conscious leaders. And I also said that you are a leader and I'm gonna repeat that again, you are a leader. Even if no one reports to you, you are still a leader. Great leadership starts with self-leadership. Being able to lead yourself is the first step in great leadership. And self-leadership requires integrity because when no one's around, when no one's looking, you have to be the type of leader who has impeccable leadership even though no one is watching. I also would love to share that you attract to yourself what you put out. So if you have integrity as a leader, you will in attract integrity from others, those that you're leading and those that, you're, that are leading beside you. So when I talk about conscious leadership, I'm talking about conscious leadership, which means guiding others with the full awareness of the self and cultivating growth in organizations by supporting the people in them. Instead of an egocentric me attitude, a conscious leader embodies all aspects of an inclusive we approach. So my training is in core energy training. And core energy training believes that there are seven levels of energy and that we all have a certain level of energy that we tend to resonate at and we go back and forth amongst these seven levels of energy, depending on whether we're in our normal circumstances of life or whether we're under stress. The first two levels, level one and level two, are catabolic levels. And catabolic just means that those are levels of energy that drain you, that hold you back, that don't allow you to see options. And over time, if you have too much catabolic energy, it can cause disease and other harmful consequences. So the first level of catabolic energy, level one, is the energy of the victim, of being at the effect of something. The second level of catabolic energy is the energy of conflict. That's anger, frustration. Your thought is, you know, I have to win above uh, anyone else is I win. That's the thought of level two energy. So both of those levels of energy are catabolic and we tend to have more catabolic energy when we are under stress. Once you get to level three and above, you get into anabolic energy. Anabolic energy is the type of energy that, that, that causes you to thrive. Someone said you, you can, oh yes, yes. You, you can only see on this screen levels four through seven because those are the levels that I'm focusing on because these are the levels of highly conscious leaders. So level one and level two, we'll all have a little bit about that. So I just wanted to give you some background as to what it is, but we're striving to have level four through seven to be highly conscious leaders. So on, um, when we reach the anabolic levels, that's the type of energy that causes us to thrive. It's the energy of healing. It's the energy of creating. And it's the energy of expansion. We start to see lots of options and lots of choices when we have anabolic energy. Level four anabolic energy is service oriented. Level four anabolic energy is probably the main level of energy that you interact with your clients with. It's how can I help you? How can I serve you? When you have level four energy, you are more concerned with the other person winning than yourself winning. You are giving, it's the level of compassion, the level of service. And your thought is that you want to um, give. So that's level four energy, you win. Level five energy, which is slightly more anabolic than level four is the opportunist. This is where there is a win-win philosophy. You win and I win. 
there, we, we're looking for win-win scenarios everywhere we go. We both win. Uh, at level five, you believe that life offers unlimited opportunities. Life has meaning and purpose, and you look for opportunities and partnerships and alliances, and there's lots of synergy and a lot less fear. As you go up to level six, which is slightly more anabolic yet, this is the level of leaders who are geniuses, who are visionaries in what they do. And they know that winning is a decision. They lead more by their presence than even by their actions. They have no need to control. They don't judge things as good or bad. They have a keen sense of intuition and they're role models. And as role models, they're seen as kind, wise, and fair. And then the highest, most anabolic level of energy is level seven. This is the level that no one resonates at, but we can all access it from time to time. This is the level where you can create anything that you want to create. It's the creator level. You can access the truth and you can consciously create anything in the world. You see opportunities in all experiences. So those are the levels of highly conscious leaders. And when you're a highly conscious leader, you can choose the level that's most appropriate for the situation or scenario you're in. You can choose level four, level five, level six, or level seven at will.